Hi all, Geeky Dad back here again and I have my new Bamboo A1 which I've been using for just over a week and it's been going pretty much non-stop and I thought I'd show you a video of all the different things I've printed for this printer that um, I think you should do. So firstly is the AMS top mount. So this comes in two parts. So there's a top mount and plus the stabilizer legs. Without the legs it'll rock quite a bit. Um, and this is from Bamboo themselves. They um, give you the prints. You just need to purchase the extra screws. Um, I'm lucky. It looks like they have some new stock and the screws come bundled already. I had to log a ticket to say, hey, I already paid these, but they came with them. And you didn't advertise that. The support person was not aware of that either. But after some time, they, they realized that and they gave me the answer saying that all new A1 kits should have it but be wary because it might be some old stock without it um, now they do actually print additional two additional components which you don't need um, so just be wary you can take these out if you want um, I don't think I'll need them as well at all myself so they're just spares now the next one is the poop bucket or the PMS so it's two pieces again this plus this baffle which is like a deflector to anything that gets flung out goes straight into the bin no i thought geez this bin is so big i don't need it that big and for most of the time i've been printing it only filled up that back corner um then i printed a, a panda that's on the sd card that comes out of the box did that just two days ago and it filled up the rest so this size is needed if you're going to be doing multicolor printing, so I do recommend it. Now with this uh, bin, by the way, just to add, so if I go back to it, is there are two versions that you can print from the same uh, profile. Uh, there's one that hugs this uh, this rod over here, this stand. Um, you don't want that if you're using the stabilizer legs, so make sure you use a straight option like what I have done here too. Uh, next off is this uh, plate um, plate holder. I've got two plates at the moment. I will have another one shortly once it's in stock. This can hold up to five and I like it how it staggers them out so you can easily grab what you need and also view what, what it is that you need. Um, there are plenty of models out there that you can choose from if you don't like that aesthetic. But that's that one. All right, and another option is a little scraper. Now, um, the A1 kit does come with a metal blade, so you can print a scraper that uh, will be very sturdy, very strong, but I am scared I am going to be a noob and damage my my plate. So um, I opt to print this in PETG, and I've used it a few times, it works well, and it's already starting to break, so. This is only a few cents and will only last you a few times, but it's still the safest approach in my eyes. I don't know if you use the metal one correctly by pushing it down a certain way. Should not damage it at all. New printer, and I'm new to printing, so I'm not taking my chances. Next up is this organizer, which is great. I've got you know, my deburring tools, some lube and glues and you name it. And this... Uh, helps me organize things and keep things tidy. I'll keep this in the cabinet below. Um, you can also do multicolor printing for the labeling over here. The one cool thing that I've also printed are these clips for my filament. And I use them on my reels to keep things all neat so I don't have to tie them in through the little holes and bend filament for no reason. While I'm also talking about filament, I am using some sunlu spools and uh, these spools have a different diameter which doesn't allow you to put them onto the AMS light. Um, so this, uh, there are other people that have shown online a different version where you screw them together. They're larger, they take more um, filament and they're longer to print. And I thought I'd just go the economical route and just use this. And this has been great. Um, all you need to do is just slip it in, 
and you don't need to force it in. If it doesn't go the whole way, it means you got it in the wrong way. The sewing loose spools are tapered, and if it doesn't fit, flip it over to the other side, and it should just go nice and easy. Yep, that's flush. And that just goes straight on, which I'm probably not gonna be able to do, do with one hand properly, no. No, it's not on, I'm not even gonna try. Two hands, trust me, it's easy, it goes on and off, and it comes off fairly easily too. Just pop it through, and out it goes. So, highly recommend this one. Okay, so next off is the PTFE remover. So this has two parts, but it does have a third, which I wish I knew as well. I just hit print on the thing. So you can either get the rounded side or the, or the rectangle side. And if you just push this down, it allows you to pull these PTFE tubes without any effort whatsoever. Um, a lot easier than the stock or trying to use some uh, tweezers and push down and use an excessive amount of force. So highly recommend this as well. Next up, which may not be requirement, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway, LCD protector. Flips open, stays up. Um, it's pretty good. Do I need it? I'm not too sure, and I don't want to find out. Um, now, I wish I knew that this uh, person that designed this has a second version. Uh, this one, when I first printed it out, would come off very easily off the LCD screen. What helped it a bit was sanding down this edge here with there was some leftover support material here. Um, the new one has two hinges, so please look out for that if you're going to print this. Otherwise, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, but yeah, you, your mileage may vary whether you want it or not. Next up is these uh, swatch organizers. Now, I haven't printed out swatches for absolutely everything because... This print I cannot do uh, ABS, for instance. Um, so I've only put PTG in PLA and sorted it in a way that I would probably use it most. Um, PTG Basic, been discontinued from Bamboo at the moment, um, just from the other week that I saw. Uh, they are going to create a new one. Whether these swatches will become irrelevant, I am not too sure. But I think it's pretty cool, these. And you can also print out a little box or stand for these as well. This design is a bamboo design. There's one that comes with on the SD, but I downloaded the one that has an ironing finish, so it's a lot smoother looks nicer. Okay, next one is the Bamboo Lab accessory kit box. Now, um, the main one, uh, has several options for depending on your printer. There is an A1 version to hold all the A1 tools, but there was another designer that had a different insert, and I used theirs instead because this one holds three hot ends and three socks, plus all the other accessories. Now, this is actually pretty amazing. The plastic pins, you can print yourself. Um, you have to glue them in. Uh, which uh, I wish I didn't have to. It made things a little bit messy with the glue. I wasn't too careful with it. Um, but you can use your own uh, hardware and, and they put a link on hardware that they recommend. Um, I took some foam from the bamboo packaging um, before I threw it all out, luckily. Cut it out, glued that in, and that keeps everything secure. If you don't have this, things will fly out as soon as it spins around. So that is a pretty sexy box, I must say. And there you have it. That's all the items that I printed out for my printer um, and that I recommend for anyone to do. Uh, if you like this, uh, hit the thumbs up and the bell and the subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.